Sledging is another element of the game that constantly draws attention. Is there a line to be drawn? And if so, where is that line? Banter, even elements of gamemanship have always been a part of the sport and in my view play a part in adding to its mystique and unique character. I think in most cases sledging or chirping is a waste of time, often resorted to by players who are trying to be a big deal or are trying to psych themselves up or to even maybe boost their own lack of, self, of, of confidence. And very often it is counterproductive. We tried to unsettle Steve Warren on a number of occasions by asking him what it was like to be the unpopular twin, with Mark getting all the toys when they were growing up. It had no effect, and only made him more determined, seemingly getting runs whenever he batted against us. Pat Simcox is someone I played with who always loved to have a few words. Matthew Hayden's career was in two parts. In the first, he had a very unhappy tour of South Africa, suffering a string of low scores in the series. In the second innings of the final test, as he walked into bat past Pat Simcox at Gully, Pat said to him, don't worry, Matt, Don Brandman also made a duck in his last test innings. <laughs> he actually did make a duck in his last test innings. But a little later, he came back for the second part of his career and with extraordinary success, including a record-breaking tally of runs against South Africa in a later series. There was a time when teams like Sri Lanka and Bangladesh could be bullied mentally, but that is not the case anymore. But there's a difference between the examples I've given and what amounts to no more than ugly personal abuse in the guise of playing aggressively. That type of ugly behavior is not what sport, never mind cricket, is all about and is simply unacceptable. And it is the latter that we are attempting to get rid of.